Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you guys what Cropsford is. Now Cropsford is kind of on the right side of the map. It's below Shaden Hall and above Breville, kind of on a weird peninsula thing. It's in one of those weird parts of the map where it's not really next to a city so you can't fast travel to it easy. So a lot of people probably actually miss out on Cropsford. But Already, one of the reasons I try to go to Cropsford is because I like to have the map marker there because then I can just fast travel to that area if I need to. But Cropsford, this is a very ironic place because it's a town that's not built and ends up getting rebuilt, unlike Kvatch, which never gets rebuilt. But Cropsford, you know, you find a little camp, you find a bunch of barrels and boxes on the road, and you find this camp, right? And these people are running from these goblins. Now, the goblins aren't actively chasing them. They're actually warring with each other. This is how you get two goblin shaman staffs. I believe there's six or seven shaman staffs in the game. You get one in the series and you get two during this quest, right? So basically the way that you do this quest is very simple. There's the two goblin tribes warring at each other. You basically go in and decimate one. I decimate both because they're goblins and I want the shaman staffs because they're valuable. Also, this, these caves generally have a lot of valuables in them, and the two caves are actually very unique looking caves for being caves. You can tell that they're goblin caves. But when you're done with it, Crossford gets rebuilt in about a month, and everyone loves you, and you get a free bed, and sometimes you spawn there and it gives you free money. I really like Cropsford because it it's probably one of my favorite quests in Oblivion is the quest with Crossford in it. Because it shows the level of even though it was 2005, the level of quality you could put into a side quest, right? Yeah, the buildings in Cropsford kind of look the same as everywhere else, but the story behind it's amazing, and the people there, like, <clears throat> after you do it, they're like, thank you for saving us, da 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 right? And Cropsford, like, after it's done being built, it's a cool-looking town. It actually looks kind of like a village. There's, like, a well and, I think, two or three houses in it. The well is in the middle. And it's just like, it's a unique looking town as opposed to some of the other ones where it's like three houses here three houses here right it's just the way that that game does it and i i just don't know it's some it's a special place to me Cropsford is and i like the quest with the tent with the camp and the goblin huts i just feel like that kind of quest where there's two goblins warring with each other and you can pick a side in this war that really you just want to end, but like you can also kind of just be a jerk to them, but then also you're like saving these people. It's just so unique of a story. Like, I feel like Skyrim, Skyrim there definitely won't be a quest where there's two people getting killed by goblins, right, in the middle of a goblin war. Like, goblins, it, it kind of gives goblins a personality, because then it kind of seems like, oh, they're not just enemies now. They're goblins, right? They have their own factions, stuff like that. So let me know what you think about this quest in the comments below. I really like Cropsford. What's your favorite town in Oblivion? And I don't mean the cities, I mean like town marked on the map. Mm. Subscribe for more Oblivion videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.